Welcome to the Faces of Open Air. And today I'm joined by Kanthan. Welcome, Kanthan. Thank you, Rachel, for having me on. So can you tell us a little bit more about your background and your clinical experience as well? Yes, I'd love to. I'm my so I'm a full-time orthopedic uh, consultant um, in the UK, uh, NHS. I work in Birmingham and uh, I'm also the clinical lead for uh, Open Outcomes, which is a native open air digital problems and premise platform. And I'm also on the uh, Open Air International Clinical Programme Board. So how did you become involved with Open Air? So I've been in the NHS for about 20 years and I've been using all sorts of different digital health systems and uh, been on varying sort of quality and the ability for them to interoperate and to uh, talk to different systems have been quite difficult, which makes my life quite hard as a clinician on the front line. And um, over the years, I, I, I wondered why this was. And uh, I started to research it and find out that actually a lot of the the digital health systems and applications and electronic health records are um, very much siloed and they are designed not to talk to each other, which sounds a bit crazy to me. And um, so I started to look for, well, how can we improve these things? You know, as a surgeon, I like to fix things and you know, if there are any problems, I like to solve them. So um, I came across open air. Um, which really um, was fascinating because it's a clinically modelled uh, standard um, which uh, can interoperate, um, interoperate with other systems natively in a semantically highly rich uh, nature. So as we know, healthcare data is very, very you know, complicated. It's um, full of various different details. Um, and this can be represented in open air models, which I thought was fantastic because it's quite clinically led um, and it goes through a review process and then that can then be published in a open forum which is the clinical knowledge manager and then any application could then use that clinical model within their um, software so that to me sounded sort of you know very innovative and actually could solve this problem around silo data and interoperability um, so that's why I started to get into it and learn a lot more about it and actually the more I learned the more I felt that this was the solution to the problem of interoperability. And um, so that's where I started. And, and also with my background interest with PROMS and PREMS, patient reporting outcome measures, um, I felt that this was an ideal solution where we can then build an open air native application uh, looking at PROMS and PREMS. And you touched there on clinical informatics and clinical informatics leadership. I think open air has got, you know, a, a long history of clinicians modeling do you think that makes the difference between say a technically led community versus a, a clinically led community absolutely and i think you know the fact that it is quite heavily clinically led i mean there's also the the technical aspects as well um, but certainly the collaboration of the the clinicians the health informaticians the even the software developers um, and all the technical people who are not you know, directly medical, it's that fusion of the community to working towards one aim, and that aim is to improve patient outcomes. Uh, and I, I, don't, I have not seen that in any, any other standards out there. So um, this is why I felt that this the, the whole community aspect of open air uh, and that kind of vision of in, improving outcomes being essentially an open standard, open platform approach to digital health is probably the only way I think that we can improve this. And this is a not a local problem. This is an international problem that's across the world. And we need to be able to work together as a community. And that's where Open Air International are doing and have been doing for the last 20 years. Um, and it's been increasingly uh, been you know, common and actually used more, especially in Europe. Uh, which is really exciting. So that collaboration between clinical, technical, all the different dis disciplines is, is part of the future. And I'd absolutely agree with that, actually. Now, you're working on Open Outcomes, which is super exciting. That's um, a very good project to, you know, be progressing on top of Open Air. What are your hopes for the future with Open Air and with Open Outcomes? I would hope that, you know, with these different use cases and particularly with open outcomes it's the problems and prems 
um, we can build sort of clinical models and applications that read and write in open air. And this could be done in a sort of piecemeal way. So there could be other applications for other use cases, also using and utilizing open air modeling. And what we would do is, or what I like to see is that there is a whole kind of ecosystem being built in different use cases using the standardized open air model that over the coming years that you will see a proliferation of this. And actually, before we know it, we will be having a fairly in-depth, highly integratable system spurred and born around uh, the different applications. And I'd hope that actually maybe some of the bigger suppliers would want to join in because it's not them and us, it's actually working together. So there's nothing stopping the bigger sort of vendors to go, actually, we, we let's go and join the community. Let's Let's build open air models because this is clearly the way to work together. And um, that's why I'd hope to see that this sort of flourish. They'll see what we're doing and then maybe they'll join in as well. And that's where I think we're happy to embrace that in the community and open air community. Wonderful. Well, I like your vision of the future. And thank you so much, Kanthan, for joining us today. Thank you very much.